Hey Siri, what's the weather look like? Looks like you're gonna need an umbrella. It's a little bit dreary. Yo, what's going on guys, man? Look, the concept for this video changed like a good four or five times, but I realized I wanted to do this a different way than I originally thought. I wanted to show you guys the final product and then go back and show you guys the gear I use and talk about why I use certain gear. Because me looking as a viewer's perspective, I wanna see the shit that I clicked on the video for. And then all the extra shit, then I'll look into that as well. But that's why I showed you guys the edit first and now I'm talking about different things, the gear, why I chose different gear and how I shot different things. So with that being said, let's get into it. All right guys, so first thing first is the gear or the lens that I use for this football video that I shot for my brother's high school football team. And I guess I should have said that earlier. I shot a high school football video for my brother's high school football team. A lot of high schools said that but anyways man look uh the gear the lens that i used was c70 to 200 from canon i didn't rent it out from lensrentals.com and i said this in the past if you don't have the money or i'm only going to use this particular item or gear for x amount of times or a short amount of time rent it out it's not anything wrong with renting gear out you save money you save time stress and it's just a really good process to practice if you are going to be using gear for just like one or two times like I did for this particular scenario. It's going to be linked down in the description if you guys want to go to lensrentals.com. I don't have any promo codes for you guys. This is not a sponsored video, but I think if you sign up, you might get some discounts for your first purchase. I don't know if that's true or not, but it's going to be linked down in the description if you guys want to go check out lensrentals.com. Highly recommend it. So if you got the lens and the things that I use in front of the lens, um, like my filters, I use Black Pro Mist, I use the one fourth strength. And then for the warm ups for the video, I did use a um, indie filter, which was at a 0.9 strength from Tiffin. And then once the game started, I took it off because it was like really dark. And I guess in my head before I actually shot the video, the videos that I watch to kind of game plan how I wanted to shoot this, they were all like collegiate and professional environments. And so the lighting was like really good at night. And high school football, nah, <laughs> it's not like that. A lot of the lights at the at the field were like missing or they were out. Two uh, set of lights on the end zones were, like, were out. So it was a lot darker than what I was expecting. So I did boost my eyes. So a lot higher than what I thought. But I think it still came out good. But yeah, the lighting was not the best, but I still made it work. Next thing I got is my camera rig. So I did fully rig out my camera, B-mount battery, B-mount plate, rails. I didn't have a follow focus because I wasn't sure if I was gonna use manual or autofocus, and I'll get into that later in the video. But got the lens, camera, cage on the camera, external monitor, and all this footage that I'm showing you guys is shot, or was shot on my iPhone because I don't have a second camera. I could have rented one, but I was like, that's just too much. So I use my iPhone for a lot of the behind the scenes for this video. I wish I could have had like a GoPro to get actual game time BTS like mounted to my head or my chest to show you guys how I was operating the camera, but I didn't have that. So the only behind the scenes I have for this video is me recording or just me shooting like my rig and everything like that. So which was all shot on my iPhone 12. 
disclaimer, which leads me to say that I really would like to get an actual dedicated cinema camera or at least an actual dedicated camera just for video because I only have one camera and it just will make things a lot easier when it comes to capturing behind the scenes or good quality behind the scenes footage for you guys or photos and everything like that. I didn't really have the option because I only had one camera and I wasn't going to rent one out because it just would have been more money. But if I just would have had one, which I will eventually get maybe sometime next year, the C70 is on the market in my market for my budget and everything. Maybe the FX6, but I kind of want to say with Canon, I don't know yet, but that is eventually going to happen hopefully sometime next year. If everything aligns the way it's supposed to, I will eventually have my first cinema camera sometime next year. Looking forward to it. So I fully kitted out my rig and I even put a matte box on there. Like it wasn't even needed because I did use the screw on, thread on, ND filters and black pro mist, but it looked cool and it was a slight flex. I wanted to fully kit out the rig because it added weight. And even though the lens has um, image stabilization, I think some weird things happen when you don't turn on the image stabilization or the digital stabilization within EOS R. So even though it was turned on the lens, I don't really think it was actually on. So to help out with that, I just added as much weight to my rig as possible. Beam mount battery, rails, everything, uh, map box, external monitor, handle, everything. So it added weight, so I just had it tucked into my arm and then I kind of just had to make sure I had all contact points tucked into my arm, my other, my left hand was on the bottom of the rails and then I was just using my body to just bring it closer. Camera weight to me is a big factor when it comes to eliminating all those extra micro jitters within your footage. So that's why I added as much weight to my rig as possible. Next thing up I got is using manual focus versus autofocus. Now I talked about this before or earlier within the video, but I want to deep dive into it. When I was getting like the warm up, pre warm up shots of the team, I was using autofocus. And then I quickly realized that shit is not going to fly for this video. It's too many moving parts. You got people coming in and out of the frame and the camera's kind of like, yo, do I go here? Do I go here? Do I go there? The hunting was driving me fucking insane. Excuse my language. I quickly realized that if I use manual or if I use autofocus for the remainder of this video, it's not gonna look good. So all the shots from the game were shot manual focus. If I did a good job, please let me know, head down to the comments to let me know how my manual focusing was. It was fairly simple. Like even though I was using an F2.8 aperture the entire time, I think I still kept my focus pretty good. If you guys are gonna be shooting any type of sports activity like this, where a lot of things are coming in and out of the shot. I don't even care like if the autofocus was like super spot on. It's going to try to hunt and have its own mind. That's what autofocus is. It has its own mind in trying to find what is supposed to be in focus rather than what should be in focus. Boy, so you... that's why I went with manual focus for this video. And I think it turned out pretty good. And I think another thing that helped me was I put on my own little focus rings from Tilta that I bought. So it kind of gave me extra grip because I didn't bring my uh, actual follow focus, my Tilta Nano. But I didn't want to bring that. I think it would have been too much. And I didn't know if I was going to be using auto or manual focus at the time. My frame rates for this video, I kept it simple, 60 frames per second. I would have preferred using 120, but on the EOS R, you know, it shoots in 720p and 120 frames per second. So I was like, it's not that, serious to shoot in 120 and it was just like i said it was too freaking dark so i would have had to crank up my shutter speed and everything and boost up my eyes so even more so yeah everything was shot in 60 nothing shot in 24 or 120 mainly because i wanted to have the flexibility and post to slow things down all right last and certainly but not least is the sound effects and music that i use so when i was going through and trying to figure out like how i wanted to shoot stuff i did come across a few videos and people that do this like all the time and i found a guy i forgot his name it's going to be linked down in the description though he has like sound effects packs for football events or sports events so i bought that it was like 40 bucks 35 or 40 bucks on his website and again it's going to be linked down in the description that really helped me a lot when it came to piecing together the uh the sound design and then for the music choice i just picked the song from epidemic sound i use epidemic on pretty much all my projects all my videos that you guys see on youtube instagram epidemic sound is the way to go it was a collaborative effort 
from the sound effects pack and the music from Epidemic Sound. This is not a sponsored video at all, but I believe you guys can get a free one month on Epidemic Sound. Don't quote me on that. Just go to the website and see what they have on there. But I highly recommend it to anybody who is in the YouTube or video because it does help you a lot. If you guys are interested, it's gonna be linked down in the description. But I think that's it. I talked about everything that I needed to talk about. I think it was some valuable information and I'm about to wrap this up. So I'm at 29 minutes, 40 seconds. So if you guys enjoyed this video, man, or find it to be informational to you, hit that like button. If you're new here, consider subscribing and I will see you guys within my next video. I'm out guys, peace.